What a glorious day in the Chiefs' kingdom. The fans were here early for this big game, and no group of fans tailgates like the Chiefs' kingdom. That was one of the things my brother who played here, he said, uh, just wait for a game day, it's going to be awesome. You're going to drive in, uh, you're going to pull up, and all you're going to see is just a bunch of smoke coming out from the parking lot. The barbecue smoke is permeating. There is no place like this place. I typically you smell like that nice wood, uh, wood smell, you know, as much as I'd want to go uh, get some brisket or a hot dog or whatever, that's, that's not really the time for it. All right, so here we've got a brisket. Uh, it's been on, geez, I put it on at about 9.30, 10 o'clock last night, so in total ends up being like an 18 to 20 hour cook. And then coming to Kansas City, you hear all about the barbecue and uh, you really get into the brisket and. I wouldn't say it's the easiest meat to cook. It's, it's always a little bit different every time you do it. And so um, I'm always kind of looking for like the perfect one. You know, in food, you're always kind of looking ahead and, and preparing, especially a recipe like this that you know, could take eight to 16 hours, 20 hours, uh, depending on what temperature you want to cook it at. You know, if everything goes right, the reward's going to be uh, pretty awesome, much like, you know, on Sundays, getting a, getting a victory. City and the Chiefs taste the sweet nectar of the yeah. end zone. You know, growing up, the thing that really did it for me was pizza. The pepperoni, the basil, the cheese. It's such a fun dish. I mean, I always wanted to keep perfecting, and uh, I think I finally found you know, kind of the, the perfect method. All right, so I always want to flour the surface. I usually approximate one pizza per person. So this dough is kind of the longer fermentation uh, process. It's going to be uh, pretty sticky, so you, you want to make sure to have a, a bit of flour there to, to roll it out. We got some red sauce. Essentially, this is only crushed tomatoes. You want to go very, very light on it. You get enough of the tomato flavor. You don't need a you know, runny sauce on there. So here we just got some fresh mozzarella. You know, it's kind of the Neapolitan style as well. We found that to, to be more to our liking than the pre-shredded. So a couple pieces of basil. We're just gonna do half on this one. Pepperoni, which we all love. You do get a little bit more with kind of a natural pepperoni. You'll see kind of the, the oils cook out and kind of gets a nice little fried uh, top exterior with some good quality pepperoni. You know, people always want to know how do I cook the best brisket? How do I cook this the best? You know, I think we got a lot of stress, you know, kind of week to week, you know, who we're facing, our opponent, all that. What do you think you guys are capable of offensively? You know, it's exciting, like I said, I mean, to start this, we got guys across the board that can really make a lot of plays. Sure, there'll be a lot of potential talk for the next few months, and, you know, we're just going to have to uh, show that we are as good as, as we should be. I mean, you can only think of football for so long. Having an outlet, you know, whether it's music, whether it's art, whether it's food, and people always enjoy kind of pulling the curtain back and seeing what our lives are about, being able to share that with people. It's been a lot of fun. So last bit, just a teeny bit of oil, so we don't need too much, and then now we go to the oven. Let's talk about the Kansas City Is this Chiefs offense The potential different? for our offense is off the charts. Sign the Chiefs the are becoming era. really good. You know what happened? Think about Mahomes, you talk about a guy I don't know how playing. you game plan for the Chiefs. And you add that with Andy Reid as a play caller. Who's if you go through the process, and you're honest with that, we can control how we work each day. You're, you're so far into this, and I think it's important that we just put our focus there. It's been great from our point of view. We put a lot of a lot of weapons out there, a lot of speed on the field, and uh, it makes it tough to defend. And training camp kind of builds the ingredients that, that you're looking for in a pizza. So uh, that's going to basically be your dough. Uh, you're going to form the foundation for your team. You know, it's going to be toughness. It's going to be conditioning. It's going to be execution, and it's going to be fundamentals. So those are the main things that training camp kind of instills in you. Need somebody to make the play right now. Need somebody to make the play. I'd say you know the sauce and the cheese. You know, staples, so those are uh, kind of the quality players that you got. Number 87, Travis Kelsey. And then kind of the toppings, the basil, the pepperoni, uh, the fun stuff. I mean, I think that's really where our, our offense shines. Mahomes play fake, zips a pass, caught by Tyree Kill, missed tackle. He's into jet propulsion, touchdown. Everybody put some points on these boys. You know, Pat being able to get the ball where he needs to. Touchdown, Patrick Mahomes with Mahomes. Really gets this just awesome dish and then, you know, a great football team as well. Oh yeah. That's a good slice of pizza right there.